Oh my god, if this thing works, it's gonna be so freaking cool, Char. It's too, I think it's like too wide. Let me shrink this, zoom in. What's up, everybody? So the time has freaking finally came. Come. I was perusing the internet about a week and a half ago, and I came across this item, and I thought, no freaking way does this thing exist. Well, it does because, well, I guess I could, uh, I'm, I'm doing this way out of whack, man. But the time has come where... This arrived. And you're like, Dan, what is that? A great question. I mean, silly question, because all you have to do is technically look at the title of this video and you'll know what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I decided to buy it. Let's do it. I've never seen anybody do something on this. I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. I'm just saying I haven't seen it. Let's unbox this. See you. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's get rid of the box. Here it is. It is called the Pyro Mini. Oh my god, yo, this is so sick. Hands-free wireless fireball shooter. That is like the coolest freaking sentence I've ever heard in my life. This, from what I understand, is something you put on your wrist, kind of like a watch, and it shoots a fireball like right above your hand. And we are doing this today. Oh my god. I'm genuinely interested in this. Okay, let's open this up. So it comes in a plastic bag like this. It comes with this paper-like stuff. I think it's like special fire paper or something like that. So we'll check into that. So here in front of us, we have the Pyro Mini Hands-Free Wireless Fireball Shooter. On the back, it says Hands-Free Wireless Fireball Shooter. Everything you loved about Pyro in a smaller payload. Burst fire, longer range, wireless or handheld, easy on and off wrist strap. Okay, so there's a little tab at the bottom here. It says, for detailed instructions, go to this URL. I believe this is meant for magicians. You must watch the instructional download before using this unit. Okay, so inside the box, we have three things. Looks like a, a loader pin of some kind. No idea what that is. And I think this is the actual device itself right here. Okay, so underneath, we have, looks like a cleaning kit. The wrist strap itself that kind of hides the unit, I think. A charging cable and tweezers. Let's go ahead and watch the instructional video like they said. Okay, quick update. Guys, there is so many friggin' video instructions. Oh my god. This device is way more technical than I thought, but that's okay, we're gonna learn it. Oh my god, I'm on video six and there's 17 videos. Okay, I'll be back, I'll be back. What I'm gonna do right now is take you through a fast version of what I just watched with each of these items and explain it to you. Big sheet of paper with some cotton. Now what I've learned in this video is that when shipping this, they have to ship it wet. And you have to actually leave it out for 24 hours to fully dry before using this unit. Unfortunately, today I'm not using this. In like a minute or two, you guys will actually see me using it because you don't have to wait a day. You have to take the cotton out and you have to spread it out very thin until it dries. So yeah, unfortunately today this is all I can do. I'll be back tomorrow in a couple seconds for you guys to actually shoot this off. I am so freaking excited to do this. I hate that I have to wait a day. It sucks, but I'll be back in one day. Okay, good morning. Oh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it is super early. Oh, this is a weird ass shot. Okay, what's up everybody? It is the next morning. It is pretty early. In fact, it's too early to be like yelling and filming a video. But, like, who cares? No, I don't have the balls to do that. On top of that, I went out last night. If I have any bit of like alcohol, like the night before, I can't sleep. I wake up at like 5.30. And how do you expect me to like sit here? I've got a fireball shooter in my house. You expect me to sit back and just relax? No, you're filming this bright and freaking early. <laughs> it's like 7 a.m. You know what the problem is? This is why chicks don't go for dudes like me. Because it's like 7 a.m. on a Sunday morning. We're playing with a fireball shooter. Still sick though. <laughs> I'm so freaking excited guys. I don't want you to look at this and I can't. Like how the f am I gonna preach fire safety when I'm doing this in my house? Please be safe with fire, that's all I can say. I do have a fire extinguisher on standby. Right here, and on top of that, this paper burns up the second it catches fire. Fire isn't a joke, it absolutely is not a joke. Please be extremely safe. Let us go. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna go get the pyro mini and bring it over here from the charger. <laughs> I did not need to include that tip, but let's just do it anyway. It is cold out, man. It's like a fall morning right now. Here we have the actual pyro mini device right here. We take a bit of our cotton here, you rip off a little piece, and you're gonna really roll it into a tight little ball. It has to fit inside of these chambers, no problem so do not overstuff the chamber if you guys have this or whatever but once the cotton's actually in there you're gonna take this plunger piece and just squish it all the way down just make sure it's really in there next we're gonna take our fire paper and we're gonna cut it into thirds to get smaller squares you want to have a piece of paper about this big we're gonna take that plunger piece again and this actually helps with rolling just like that you want to have a piece about that big fully rolled next we're gonna take our device and slide the rolled piece in and take the plunger and just kind of make sure it's fully in there I think we're ready <laughs> I'm nervous okay because I'm a little nervous to actually hold this and put it in my hand I'm attached Attach it to a chair and I'm gonna stand a little further back because it does come with a wireless remote. Let's do it. 
Oh, holy sh! Holy sh! Holy sh! Holy sh! Go, we gotta do this again. Okay, round two, but this time I'm actually gonna hold it in my hand. I'm not gonna wear it on my wrist. Holy sh! Holy sh! the best thing I own, guys, for sure. I gotta do a couple more tests. Okay, listen up. After watching that back, I know there's gonna be a lot of parents or people out there that are concerned with what I'm doing, especially inside. It looks very intense on camera. This tool is meant for magicians. It's like an actual tool, it's not a toy. It's not really helping my cause here. <laughs> guys, trust me, it is safe. Hey, neighbor! Listen, your dog's been like on my yard again. Make sure it doesn't happen again, all right? Or else I'm gonna have to... That one was kinda late. I'm gonna try it again. Are you talking about girl, man? That's my dog. Wow, that was a big one, I'm not gonna lie. Jesus, man, I was gonna burn my freaking camera. It's like it's, it's like boom and lights. Okay, so there you guys have it. That is a pretty much an unboxing and a test of the Pyro Mini Fireball Shooter. Keep in mind, this is a magician's tool, not a toy, it's a tool. So they use this at like dinner parties or when they're like performing on boats or <laughs> like wherever they perform. So a lot of the time it is used inside. I did want to mention quickly the price of this thing. So it actually ended up costing me about $250. This thing isn't cheap. If you guys want to see me test this out more, um, I think I showed one on my Instagram story right now, at Danocracy. Give this video a like or comment down below if you want more testing of products like this because there's so many cool ones out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.